Now, within that regional context also, or in fact international context, that is where we are holding our elections, December 7th, to be followed by Niger. And I should say, and I, I need not uh, belabor that point, that there's very high expectation of Ghana because of our track record. We have a track record of delivering, of holding peaceful, credible elections. This year's elections will be the eighth since the Fourth Republic. And all of them have been known to be by and large free and fair, credible. Of course, with uh, logistical and other challenges. Um, and in fact, the, the key point about Ghana is that they have improved progressively. And each election cycle has seen significant improvement upon the previous one. Um, and this has come to be expected of Ghana by the international community. And that's why this year's election, uh, there is so much hope that um, with five elections about to be held, the concern about whether they will all be peaceful, whether they will be nonviolent, they will not trigger crisis. The, the one election that there's so much hope in is the 7th December election in Ghana where they expect us to provide, again, an example of well-conducted, credible elections which are non-violent. As I go around, my colleagues are here, they're not Ghanaians, they can testify that I always say that um, one thing that I have come to see about the elections in Ghana has been the fact that we go through a whole cycle and frankly, you will, you will not hear about death resulting from violence between political parties or from actors associated with political parties. In the past, that was unknown, and that is a proud record we must seek to maintain. Yes, there were some deaths, but unfortunately, there were usually accidents from people returning from campaigns or going to campaigns, but, but not from actual violence linked with the political process. That was the record that we've, we, we, we set, and that is the record that we must seek to maintain. And that's why there's a lot of uh, others uh, uh, focus these days on how will the elections be this year. The second uh, context is the...